Hi folks, it's Dash Dave here. This is an extreme close-up. I'm I'm sorry, I'm just going to do a mini quick tutorial. Okay, so a lot of you have asked me how to make the aged sellotape that I do. Um, I do a really quick way of doing it. There are some that are a bit quite convoluted. You know, I'm not saying that mine's the best way. Mine's just works for me and I, I'm happy with it. Okay. Um, and a lot of you asked me how to do it. Now, I did have it included within one of my previous videos, but I thought I'd do a little standalone, very quick demonstration of how to do it. Okay, so what you will need is you'll need some kind of a craft mat to work on. Don't try and work off your glass mat um, because it'll be really hard to peel it off again. Um, and don't try and work on those... Um, self-healing mats because they tend to pick up lots of bits and it all gets stuck to the back of your sticky tape okay so um we call it sticky tape if it's not a brand in the uk and sellotape is the most popular brand in the uk uh, this is a roll of sellotape here um but you can use any kind of sticky tape uh, i think i believe it's called scotch tape in america okay so um I'm going to show you how to make mine. So the reason why I say you need a non-stick mat is because you need to stick your sellotape or your sticky tape down. So I've done some here, and you see it peels up nicely on off this. Okay. Now I've got two types of a generic here, and then I've got one one strip here of the branded sellotape. It doesn't matter what you use. You could even use this clear parcel tape type stuff if you wanted to. Um, like I say doesn't really matter what you're using it's the effect you get from it the craft mat in the background is one of the one that came with the tim holtz mat that i've got and the tim holtz glass mat that i've got but you could use um a craft sheet the non-stick craft sheets or an oven liner you can buy an oven liner in um most pound shops these days most you know cheap stores i guess the dollar tree would have something very similar um so it's just so that you can stick it down and be able to peel it back up again. Okay, so, um, and also once you get your alcohol ink on this, it kind of comes out, it does stain a bit, but you know, that's what it's all for. It's staining, stainability. Okay, the next thing you're gonna need is some kind of felt. Now I've got a, um, a square daubery things. Uh, this is basically what I used to have before these round versions came out. Um, and it, you don't need this by any any means you can use a cork or whatever and i've just got a pad of felt on it now it can be any kind of felt um it can you can cut up your own piece of felt you could use a piece of colored felt it doesn't it really doesn't matter i'm not a big um advocate of going out and buying all these expensive things just to make one little thing so use what you've got so you want to see what the finished product is um for those people that are just watching this as a standalone you see, I've stuck it to the glass mat now. I can't get it off. This is why I said don't do it on the glass mat. So this is the kind of thing that you'll get. So I'll leave that kind of there. And then also you can do it with a lighter finish to it, which is this bit here. You can do it however you want, actually. Can you see that? Is that on camera? Um, I don't know whether you can see that because I can't see from my, my camera. I'll put it down here and then we'll talk about it. So this is the kind of thing you'll get from it i can see that that's on camera now um and you can make it however you like now i like it because i just it just looks that that kind of if i just hold it up to you um you can see it's got that kind of like bubbling um pockets of air kind of look to it um like i say there are more convoluted ways to do it and you know i'm not saying that this is the best way this is my way the other things you're going to need is some alcohol ink. Now I've got, this is um, Adirondack um, ink, but you could um, you can use anything. You could use um, like, um, sorry, I'm having a moment where I can't breathe. Um, you could use, um, uh, so this is um, Pantone, this is a uh, letter set stuff, but you could use, um, a sharpie in some alcohol um, if you leave it long enough it kind of pulls all the color out and you know you can do you can do whatever okay so um, but I found a combination of these works the best or just one of them it it doesn't really matter so I bought these and I already had these 
and I've never really used any either of them so and this is the way I've, I've found to use use them so what I'm going to make this is a darker color than than this one so um, what you do is you just put it in down and then you just dab it okay and you can see that's gone quite really quite orangey okay so now we can kind of cool it down with a bit of different color I'm, I'm not worried about mixing colors on on pads and things And you see how you get that nice mottling now I've got a real kind of like real gingery kind of color it's like it's been rusted type stuff don't know why I had to say it like that um, <laughs> but you can do it you can do it in other colors let me just get another piece of felt sorry should have prepared but he didn't um, so put that to one side put another piece of felt on here um, so that that color was um, Pantone 174 um, so this is a different color this is Pantone 154 obviously a fan of the fours at the num at the end okay so again just putting it on and then this one gives it a bit more of a more of a I guess a coffee sort of color to it and like I say just dabbing it on really there is no technique to this it will kind of pull itself so even when when I've gone over a part and leave it if you watch it it will kind of separate itself so it doesn't matter what you kind of do to it it will find its own way okay um, I might even go over this with a bit of that just to kind of take the orange out of it and that's really all you're gonna do and you just have a play you play and find the color that you like now the latte one um, this Adirondack and I always think Linda Ronstadt every time I think of Adirondack I don't know whether anybody knows who Linda Ronstadt is but uh, showing my age and this is on the sellotape the branded sellotape I say so it's got a bit of dog hair on it everything in this house has a bit of dog hair on it it's like it's like the dog has his own stamp on my craft he feels like he's been evolved so this is a much lighter colour and that's all you're going to do my friends you're not going to have to worry too much about it now you can put dab a few bits here and there and even if you get a, what looks like a very straight line when you dab it on it bleeds out and it doesn't look straight any longer and that is the most simple way I have found to make age sellotape. You see this kind of thing, where it, when it kind of like pulls, really love that. that. That's what creates this kind of effect. These like pools of, of color. Um, and if you're not happy with it, you know what, just go over it with a different color. Like this, remember this one being really gingery fire brick kind of red color well if you go over it with a different color it changes you can almost kind of wipe it out wipe out um so any bits of white well it won't be white but it's the clear because you can see the mat from underneath it any bits of clear just kind of dab over them get rid of them if you're happy with the way it looks leave it I can't leave it. It's my problem. It's step away. But no, he can't. And that's it. So um, you just need to leave it to dry. If you leave it to dry naturally, air dry it, it's so much better. I would say um, leave it to air dry because using one of these, a heat gun. Sorry, it's very windy outside today. So if you can hear it blowing outside, I'm really, I'm really sorry, it's just it's blowing a storm. If you try and heat it with one of these and you get it too hot it will shrivel up because remember it's plastic okay so um 
but if you're careful with it you can go over it and dry it so I'm just going to go over it and dry it like I said I wouldn't normally do it like this I would normally leave it to dry itself when you dry it like this it will it evaporates too quickly and it might pull salt, some of the colour away so you might have to go over it again if you leave it to dry naturally it will just keep the colour that you left it at so just my tip I always find I always find actually air drying is probably the best policy for everything um, it's like when you try and air dry sorry when you try and dry any kind of distress ink it always makes it a little bit I don't know a bit wishy-washy so there we go so just reapplying some ink on there okay so I'm going to leave that to dry this time um, when you're cutting it um, you can cut it with a, a, a like a serrated edge like this has here okay um, or you can just have it so that it's got a much more organic end edge to it Do you remember in the old days we used to tear sellotape in with our teeth rather than you know you didn't bother with the serrated edge you just like tear it with your teeth and it kind of ripped how how it you liked and that's what i like is the more organic kind of look so anyway that's it done finished so uh, that's my tutorial on making age sellotape um go and have a play uh go and watch what other people do because you might not like my method and it might not be enough for you you don't get the um the brittle feel that you would get from like genuinely aged sellotape um but if you go to charity shops or thrift stores there's plenty of books and um record sleeves that have been sellotaped and you can peel it don't peel it off in the shop buy the item and then peel it off at home <laughs> um i don't want to be accused of like encouraging you all to like go out and like peel bits off like things you haven't purchased um but you know if you you want to you know just have the look of it and you're not worried about it not having the the texture then give this method a try so anyway thank you very much for um for watching me today as always uh i'm sending you um some crafty kisses mwah, mwah, mwah. three kisses as always because you know i'm generous with my kisses um a big crafty hug uh because i'm always generous with a hug um and um as i always say um i love you all until you give me a reason not to um so you have a lovely day evening afternoon morning midnight whatever time it is with you and i will see you soon in another video thank you very much for watching i hope this was helpful take care bye bye spread kindness spread kindness spread that kindness